Some things are better left unsaid. Take it from me, some things are better left unsaid. Hello, welcome to Unspoken. I'm Joshua Healy, and that's Jonathan Healy. Um, this is part two uh, of state and religion, religion, church and state, whichever one you phrase it. Um, if you haven't seen part one, then uh, go check out the videos. Or if you haven't listened to part one, if you listen to it on the podcast, then uh, just go back when it should be there. Um, yeah, uh, we were talking last about um, just all the different ways that uh, religion and state and state religion come in, get, oh, Come involved with each other, I suppose. Um, and we left it off in the last one where we were reading this quote, which I'll read now, and then we'll take it from there. Sounds good. Uh, the quote was from a Time magazine. It said, when religion is used for political purposes, it empties religion of its internal meaning and becomes just one more cynical method of acquiring power which is pretty hectic, John. Um, give us an example of that. Yeah, um, it is a, it's a strong statement. Um, and unfortunately, um, historically, there is um, some um, areas that um, different religions as well as um, different sects have, sects have um, uh, played into it. One of the, the biggest ones that come to mind, obviously, is the Crusades. Um, the Crusades was a, a series of wars uh, initiated, I'm reading from uh, Wikipedia, um, initiated and supported sometimes by the, the Latin church in the medieval period. Um, and what, happens, what happened was that they, um, it was on a, they wanted to expand and they used the religious reasons to um, invade countries. Um, and uh, they say that they were uh, recovering the Holy Land, and this was ha happened between about 1096 and 1271. Uh, mm. uh, another example would be uh, cults, um, Christian or not. Um, and I don't, I don't know if you would say that a cult is Christian uh, or uh, any other particular one. Uh, a cult is uh, a set of beliefs um, that is forced onto people or you get invited in uh, into this area and you have to live by certain rules. Um, I haven't been part of any and I'm thankful for that. Um, but I understand that it can be very um, oppressing and, and harsh into certain situations. And um, it's very secretive is my understanding, uh, whether it is to for, to for Christian purposes or for personal gain or uh, even evil purposes that you um, you force your beliefs, your religious beliefs, and it can even go to emotional uh, bullying and emotional trauma um, because it's such a deep um, engraved uh, uh, shove onto a person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so the obviously um, the using religion um, is is bad if you if you. you drink too much wine or if you uh you know believe something and it's okay in, in parts but as soon as you are uh, using it as a a means to uh, a bigger end um in this case think of the crusades um then it's um it's proven to be destructive um, history would say that, that wasn't good um and it has created the world that it, we are living in today mm. um but um, I hope we and the viewers um, can agree that the murdering uh, for the, the uh, religious reason um, is never good. And we have a few examples recently um, coming from uh, the Middle East and that area um, that they have pushed their religion and, and hurt or killed many people hmm. uh, recently. And so um, and that term, I guess, has been labeled terrorism. Um, and I would imagine that uh, the Crusades would also probably be related in some ways terrorism, mm. um, and neither of them are, are, are good or positive mm. uh, and super dangerous to do. Yeah, I mean, as, as you say, it's, it's, it's many occasions throughout history where 
that people use religion as a, an excuse or as a, a covering for why they're doing something. Um, often, I, I think you, know, you, you see in a, you know, in this history books and, and you know, movies, I'm not, it's not, I can't really use movies as a factual, but we've seen it happen where, um, where certain um, higher people in a certain religion or something like that will, will say, oh, yes, uh, you know, they want to try to take power from the king or, you know, um, because they, they get almost a, like a power hungry or something like that. And they're using the fact that they talk to God. I'm using that in inverted commas for those listening to on podcasts because uh, it's not necessarily that they do. Maybe they just say they do and they say, you know, you have to come speak to it. You, can, you know, I'm the only one who can to speak to God. So you have to have to come through me. And then the power goes to their head, um, which, which is important, which is well, important to know, which is not true. I mean, um, that's the whole reason Jesus came was to to say, listen, you don't have to, you know, you come come to God through me. You know, you can, you know, pray to me, pray to God through me. You don't, um, you know, to almost take the this power out of the hands of people. I think to you know so that they wouldn't become power hungry. I think um, there was the you know more recently, as you were saying, there, there was a between Pakistan and India, there's still quite rivalry there was between the Muslims and the Hindus. Um, and it's difficult because one saying, you know, we, I'm right, and another saying, no, we're right, and then they fight. And it's, you know, thousands of people die because of it, um, because of the, the differences. Um, and that is such a bad example of when church and state just collide. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't really, it's, it's not the actual, you know, the meaning behind church and state. That's not what it is because there people are trying to use religion for power, which is uh, unfortunately because of the history of that in the UK, I think that's drived a lot of atheism, a lot of agnostic, agnostics to actually say, listen, I am chucking the baby out with the bath water. I don't want anything to do with this because it just causes too many problems. Um, and it, you know, even, it, it even causes problems around the dinner table. That's why they say, don't talk about religion at a dinner table when you, because you sit down and say, well, you know, X, Y, Z is wrong. And then the next person next to you is like, no, well, actually, no, I don't agree with you. You know, we're like, well, how can you agree? We, we're supposed to be following the same religion or reading the same Bible. And they're like, well, and that's why I don't talk about it because it's, <laughs> it's difficult and it's, it's, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Um, so, so I think, unfortunately, a lot of bad fruit has come from, from over the centuries and over the, over the years of, of, of people trying to impose, um, impose their brand of beliefs with or whatever it is onto certain people um even as you... before we before we go on to um how we can do it right now what do you think um what do you think how do, do people get to the point of of war or get to the point of needing that what what do you think is how come is it such a motivation factor where uh you just you know get so uptight around the dinner table or um why why does it drive people to um, some serious points in their life to you know, what do, what do you think is the, is the well, basis i think we hinted we, we, we touched on this you know um on the on the first episode that we did um it was it, because it's just it becomes a very solid foundation in one's life their your beliefs and it's it's quite become as almost becomes in, in, ingrained in you, in your DNA, this is who we are, this is what I believe. And when somebody starts pushing the buttons and say, listen, no, you're wrong, or I don't, you know, that's not right, or this is wrong, or actually what you believe is not wrong, it, what, what, you know, is then it, it's really people start taking it personally. And you start to take it like you, you're actually attacking me and not, you know, because my beliefs are who I am. So you're attacking me, you know, and that just gets just, you know, that's what starts everything. I mean, that's just the spark and of the fire, isn't it? Um, and I, I think 
yeah, I mean, you, you were saying uh, before we get on to how we solve it, but I think, you know, to, to go between is, is, it's, um, is, is, is we, we shouldn't force our beliefs on anybody. Um, you know, the apple tree doesn't force its fruit into somebody's mouth walking past, you know, don't walk past an apple tree and say, so end up with an apple in your mouth. You know, it's the apples sit there and they make the fruit and they do their best and they, the fruit shy and looks all really juicy. And yeah, I mean, you look at the people walk, walk past and look at this fruit and like, wow, that actually looks really nice. Let me, let me try some of that. Um, that's how it does it. You know, it's, I think as soon as people start having to force what they believe onto somebody, then I think they're doing it wrong. Um, I, well, I, I agree. I do agree with that. And I, and I definitely would back up what you're saying. But what happens then, uh, if you know that you're what you're believing, if you believe it so strongly, that it could, like in, in Christianity's case, if people all believe uh, what the Bible says and gives their hearts to the Lord, then, then they are going to heaven. Then we believe that they are in a much better place mm. than, than that they are currently souls and their lives currently are being. And it's not about the laws and the same, but in question so how do you how you telling me you know you know don't force down their throat but man uh if i've got a if i've got a juicy apple yeah, and i yeah. know that this juicy apple is really going to change your life mm-hmm. you know and, and now you're telling me no i just need i just need to chill and and be calm in the in the grass mm. <laughs> you know um tell me tell me how do I how do I work that out? Or just being, mm. oh, you know, every now and then I'll I'll ch- bring up my my beliefs and be, mm. be chilled about it. But what happens, man? Man, if if I knew that I have a hundred days left, uh, if everybody has a hundred days left on this earth, mm-hmm. then uh, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, I mean, it, that's, that's that is a tough one. Um, it's it, 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 I I think that's where where the state then actually adopts will adopt the the religion you know where you get these countries like the vatican who have they've they've adopted what they fully believe this is us and we believe this without a shadow of a doubt so we are now make it uh, in our constitution that this is now the religion uh because we want everybody to to have these apples so now you come to our country you getting an apple as you arrive at the airport uh because now we're handing apples out to everybody. If you don't want an apple, then maybe not come to the country because you're going to get an apple. Um, so I, I think that's where, you know, where the country fully believes it. And that's when you get the, the state religions. Um, as far as an individual who, who feels that strongly, I mean, that's where you take to social media. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, in seriousness. Um, <laughs> It's 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 a difficult one because, uh, yeah, it is difficult when when you when you are so convinced of something and believe it. I, th- I think the only way the apple can can do it is to be the best apple tree can be, um, and I know uh, that that is really it. I mean, it's, it's, you you can't force you can't force it down the throat of somebody. Um, luckily, there are many many ways to to. Uh, um, skin, skin and apple, <laughs> apple juice, <laughs> apple pie. Um, so there's, there's different options, there's different ways to, to make it more enticing. Um, but in the end of the day, if, uh, you know, if somebody, if somebody doesn't want any apples, then, you know, that, you know, that's just, that, that's their loss, you know, because, um, I personally love a good apple crumble. Um, <laughs> Get away from the apple. Get energy. away from apples. <laughs> no, uh, call it apple. Yeah, but um, no, it is. It's it's. I, I think, you know, we, we you've seen there's there's many you know twenty twenty what was it twenty eight Muslim countries um, and they that's what they've decided. Or twenty three, sorry, twenty three Muslim countries, and that's what they decided. They they believe this is this is the truth. They that's they strongly believe this is they believe this, and they adopt it in the state and. A whole country is going to believe this, and we're going to openly have a mosque, we're going to openly have the call to prayers, we're going to openly do it and not feel like somebody's, you know, we need to hide it or we can't do it in public. And that's fantastic. I, I commend them for that. You know, if they feel so strongly about their beliefs that they are making it public and making a big stand about it. It's fantastic. You know, I might not agree with it, but 
that's fine. You know, I don't have to go to those countries if I don't want to, or um, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, um, I just think that if, it, I, I think if you're going to do it, we should do it properly, you know, and if, if people don't know that UK is not a, is a Christian country, then obviously they're doing it wrong. You know, um, you know, I don't want to go as, you know, I, I don't want to say stop doing it. Don't, don't say you are, if you're not, you know, but in a way you kind of do, you know, because you don't want a one foot in one foot out, you know, you know rather than just say, no, we, 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 we're not, but, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the thing, you know, if, if, you know, we're using more food analogies, you know, if I'm going to go to a McDonald's in Timbuktu, you know, and I walk in there and they've, they've got something other stuff that's not McDonald's, but they have a bit of McDonald's, but number one is not a Big Mac, it's a you know, big sushi or, you know, big, whatever the food is, whatever, you know, I'm sorry, I've never been to Timbuktu, so I don't know what they, what food it is there, but then, then you, you're going to be disappointed. And then you're gonna see, well, you see these McDonald's is actually not that good. You know, these I'm not gonna do this McDonald's, I'd rather go get something else because they you don't know what they're doing. So, you know, if it was not, then don't be McDonald's, be something else, you know. Um Yeah, I think yeah. what I I agree. I think um if what you're saying is that you should um not push people's religion, there's, there's freedom um mm. in, in people and they have a right to choose. Um, but also, if you're going to profess that as a as a state that you are uh, inclined to one way or that you are, mm. um, then, then then do it well. Uh, mm. I think that goes for personally as well. If you, uh, you know, if you're going to be baptized in, in Christianity, um, and then then perhaps you should be following, uh, you know, make sure that your life shows that you mm. uh, are are a Christian, not by like massive. Uh, cross over your head or something like that, <laughs> but um, that you are following the laws and following uh, guidance as well, mm. um, that people can see that there's something different about your life. Um, and so the question then is, is that if you are religious and if you are having the strong beliefs, then how do you uh, mend or how do you, are you involved in politics? How do you get, you know, how do you, um, influence or, or steer a government uh, ship um, if mm. you are religious because in the in the Vatican they are they they're religious and that's what kind of steers that ship mm. but um, in the UK um, and in other countries obviously there's, there's presidents and there's prime ministers um, that uh, are not necessarily the same religion as you and so uh, if you instead of short of um, <laughs> you know Getting people down, or mm. uh, taking out a sword, <laughs> mm. or something like that. Um, how do we? How do we get involved? How do we do it right? Uh, then, uh, well, it comes from from the leadership, isn't it? So when the, the when the front of the ship is going in a certain direction, then the the rest of the ship follows. So if if your leader is a strong leader and is in a certain uh, religion, or um, if, if, if let's say um, religious your leader is a Christian. If your leader is a Christian, he professes it and he speaks openly about it, and he's proud to be it. And he says, "Listen, let's open up in prayer. Let's do this." Then whoever is is not will just follow, or be, or or they won't, or they'll or they'll jump off the ship, get another ship, or go somewhere else. You know, and and the rest will be happy. Well, like, well, this guy's doing a fine thing. I'll just carry on going. You know, um, and it, and and it. You know, it trickles down because, as I said, if, if whatever the whatever the head's doing, whatever the front's doing, the rest is going to follow. And um, unless they're not, you know, if they're not doing it right, then, you know, there's, then there's no clear guidance of what's happening. Then you know, that's where you're going to follow it. So, if I'm leading a procession of people and I walk into a forest and I don't know where I'm going, then everybody behind me is going to not know where they're going either. And then we're all going to get lost. Um, so it's important for, you know, if there's Christians um, in politics, then they need to be um, really making a big noise because if they're not making a big enough noise, then nobody's going to follow them. And, you know, to try change policies and try change things or influence policies or um, try um, 
increase the morality in, a, in, in politics. There either needs to be a lot of you to make the ship go in one direction, um, or at least the, the top few at the, you know, few at the top needs to, be, um, needs to be Christian to do that. I just was only clarifying making a large noise um, sounds quite um, like a, a child banging on a, on a box in the corner. Um, so what I hear you saying, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is that you are you, you have an aim and you have a goal, and you're making um, yourself known of what it, what you believe or what your goal is yes. and what you do not agree with. So it's not a loud noise yes, uh, yes. about everything. It's um, <laughs> you choosing particular things to talk about or to address, and yes. making sure that that your voice is heard. Is that yes? No, exactly. Um, that's the thing. Like. Um, Basically, just having enough people in in the in politics, in the actual um, uh, in parliament or whatever whatever form of government that people have around, um, to be able to steer policies and um, voting in the way that they believe is the moral way to do it, um, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I I think that's we've covered in these two episodes. We've definitely covered. Um, church and state um, properly, I think. Uh, anything else you wanted to add or? Uh, I was just thinking that um, I, I commend the countries who are um, doing it well and would uh, love to see uh, the UK or other countries that do believe they're also doing equally well in Christianity um, and would say that if you, if you are... Um, a Christian and uh, even in your local organization and you feel like something's wrong, um, that you should, people should be speaking up a bit more, uh, like you say, mm-hmm. um, not, not hiding behind, but feel uh, courage or encouraged to, to speak up and say um, what you believe. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the same way, you need to be open to people not agreeing with you. Mm-hmm. You can't um, be put up a defensive wall if you're going to go out there um, and so maybe be ready for for rebuttal and be ready for what people are going to say. Uh, be studied up, perhaps, um, mm. on the subject that you're going to bring up. Um, but no, I had a great conversation and enjoyed um, talking about uh, the different sides, different aspects. Um, and I'm also happy that we're not quite uh, sorted all out as we as we opened up. It's um, mm. it's a good conversation. Yes, no, for sure. I mean, that's, that's the thing. In the end of the day, these are our opinions. Uh, these are our thoughts. Um, you know, we're open to other people's thoughts and ideas. Please comment and let us know uh, what your thoughts are, if, whether you agree or disagree. Um, that's why we're having these discussions. It's just to make people think about these situations uh, and think about these topics we're talking about and to open up the conversation. Um, I think silence is the biggest uh, problem when it comes to many things in life. If, if we don't talk about it, it can't be resolved uh, and solutions can't be made. So um, yes, thanks again, Jonathan, for um, joining me. It's always great to get together. Um, I hope it's going well there in New Zealand and uh, we will chat again soon. Um, thank you for the listeners and uh, please let people know, share it, uh, whether you're listening to on podcasts or on video, um, videos on YouTube, podcasts, pretty much available almost anywhere you can get your podcasts. Um, so yes, share it if you like it, share it if you don't. And uh, <laughs> tune in next time. But for now, we'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Bye. Some things are better left unsaid.